Now, the truth is, there is not a problem on both sides. You have a man who is violent, and he is violent toward his particular woman. Okay? Now, some people are going to say, well, that, the man's doing that because he's a coward. He wouldn't do that to another man. Okay, let's accept, let's just say he wouldn't do that to another man. Let's say he would never put his hands on another man because he really is scared of other men. Let's even accept that premise. Now, even though he wouldn't put his hands on another man, but he will freely hit on his particular woman whenever he feels like it. Where is the problem in this scenario? Where is the actual, actual problem in this scenario? Guess what, y'all? Like it or not, there is no problem in that scenario. Now, how can I say that there's no problem in that scenario? Because, of course, the, uh, the natural reaction is to say, well, no, that is a problem. What if that was your mother? What if that was your sister? You know, what if that was somebody you love? That's the natural. It's a natural reaction. So I'm not mad at anybody for thinking in those terms and a person thinking, oh, that must be crazy. How could you not see that as a problem? Well, guess what, y'all? See, if you live in America, see, I'm not going to hold people to this level of accountability who do not live in America. But if you live in America and this is a social relationship, it is voluntary. So guess what? If the man, for whatever reason, has to hit his woman every single day, she's showing up to get hit every single day. So is the problem the man because he wants to hit the woman or is the problem the woman who wants to get hit by the man? See, a lot of us, because we don't want to think about things in, in the, the way they really happen, we want to think about it from a place of comfort to us. We want to think about the ideal and make it comfortable in our own minds. The man is hitting the woman every day. But the woman is showing up to be hit every day. So who's more wrong? Is it wrong? Is it more wrong for a man to hit a woman every day? Or is it more wrong for a woman to show up to be hit every day? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? What do you really believe in this scenario? Who is more wrong? Is it a man who's going to hit his woman every day? Or is it the woman wrong because she shows up to get hit every day? Now, see, if we actually want to look at this in a very mature, uh, uh, in a very mature viewpoint, if we want to look at this the way it really is, guess what? He voluntarily shows up to hit her every day. She voluntarily shows up to get hit every day. Now, of course, again, people are going to have natural reactions, okay? Who is the actual victim in this scenario? Who's the victim? Now, of course, mentally, everybody wants to say that the woman is the victim because she's the person getting hit. And I understand that. And it's okay. It's okay. I'm not against you for having that type of thought process. Of course, we're going to think, yeah, the woman is a victim because she's getting hit. Guess what, y'all? There is no victim. A woman who shows up to get hit is going to get hit, period. Why? Because that's the type of relationship she wants to be in. Just is what it is. That's the type of relationship she wants. Some women do not like relationships that they consider boring. Okay? So if you will not hit the woman, she considers you boring, which means she can only be satisfied with the man who's willing to beat on her. Now, is it men's fault that there is a woman who refuses to be satisfied in a relationship where someone's not hitting on her? 
is that men's fault? Of course it's not men's fault. She is who she is because that's who she wants to be. Now, let's be realistic about the situation. If we have a woman who's getting hit on, if we have a woman who's getting hit on, and you remove the man from that situation, let's just say, for instance, that one day she picks up the phone and she calls the police, right? Police come over, they pick that guy up, he's getting arrested, you know, um, This is her opportunity to, quote unquote, end this relationship as if she didn't have the same opportunity every single day that she showed up to get hit on. The opportunity was always there. She could have always left the relationship. Why? Because it's a voluntary relationship. It is, again, a voluntary relationship. OK, so now woman calls the police. Guy gets picked up. He's removed. What are a lot of women going to do in this situation? A lot of women are not going to show up to court when it's time to, to uh, for the court proceedings because they do not want to testify against the man. They still want to be with the man. They still want to have sex with the man. So the fact that the woman... Can, wants to continue to have a sexual relationship with the man regardless of what you think about their relationship she has actually made the determination that there is no problem see a lot of us we sometimes can be a little self-righteous or you know we want to be the authority in somebody else's life in a way that we have no actual authority. We want to look at a woman who's getting, who's in a situation where her man is hitting her on a regular basis, and we want to say she is a victim even though she's not. Because we want to see her as a victim. Who are you to make another person a victim who clearly is showing that she is not a victim? So if she's showing up to get hit, what makes you think you're better than her and you can decide that she shouldn't be? What makes you think you're better than her? That you can decide she shouldn't have a man who's going to hit on her. Because guess what, folks? If a man is not going to hit on the woman, or let's just say something happens, because there are times where a woman is with a man who's going to assault her on a regular basis, and the man dies. Let's say he get killed in the street. He was the worst kind of dude. He was out there in the streets. He was a thug, whatever you want to say. He was a drug dealer. He was just out there in a bad way. And let's say he gets killed. Well, what is that woman going to do at that particular point? She will deal with different men until she finds a man who she is satisfied with. So guess what? Now, let's say she meets a man who just don't believe in hitting women. He just don't believe in it, period. Okay? You can't convince him that there's a reason that exists that a woman should be hit by a man. You can't convince him for squat. Let's say she likes that man. They see each other. They like each other. They like how each other looks, things like that. They start a relationship. You know, they have great sex. Things are going swell. Well, what is she going to do? She's going to create situations to bother the guy to try to get him to react in a negative way that is going to include her being hit by him. Now, she may go through a lot of stuff trying to get this guy to hit on her because she wants to see that the guy really feels that strongly about her. And that's her way of knowing that the guy loves her, quote unquote, that's her way of knowing that. She wants the reaction of him doing something at a point that he's willing to jeopardize his life situation by putting his hands on her. Because, see, what a lot of us don't understand is that's what some of these women want. They want to see that you love them enough, 
that you're willing to risk your entire way of living to be with them. Now, what do I mean by you're willing to risk your entire way of living? Well, of course, if you hit a woman and you're caught, you can get prosecuted for assault. You may end up doing time. Now you have this compromise tag on you. You lose your job. You probably lose your house. If you had an apartment, you're going to lose your apartment. You might lose your car if your car is not paid off. You lose your entire way of living because you hit this particular woman. Okay? And you might get prosecuted and, and, and be uh, convicted. But see, that's what some women want. Some women want to know that when it comes to you as a man, that you're willing to put it all at risk for them. But and us as the the people on the outside looking in, of course, we're so arrogant. Yes, listen to me, y'all. We're so arrogant that we feel like a woman who wants a relationship with a man that would hit her, we believe that we're because we're so arrogant, we believe she shouldn't get a choice in the matter. Okay. It's our arrogant behinds that feel like she shouldn't get a choice in the matter. She really should not have a choice about what kind of man she wants. Just because she wants a man that's going to hit her, our arrogance says she shouldn't be with that man. And we're going to do whatever we have to do to make sure she's not with that man. So where does the arrogance kick in? When you start trying to force her out of the relationship with the man that she likes to get hit on by. Meaning what? Well, he hits on on a regular basis. She don't call the police. But you call the police. Okay? She loves her man. She likes having sex with him. She likes their whatever their scenario is where they got a house or an apartment. She likes whatever cars they got. She like her situation. But because we're so arrogant, we'll call the police on the man thinking we're doing her a favor. Police come get the guy. Boom, now he get prosecuted. Now he's gone. Now she has to go find another man who's willing to hit on her. Because we stepped in their business. And see, that's where the arrogance comes in. We want to control what somebody else is doing with their particular life. Now, we live in America. If you live in America, you're supposed to really live whatever type of life you want to, as long as you're not hurting somebody else or hurting their property. Now, any woman who likes to deal with a violent man, she is giving somebody permission to hit on her. She gives him that permission. How do I know she gives him permission? Because she's in the relationship with the man. So that's the type of relationship she wants. But we're so arrogant, we don't want her to have that relationship. Now, would I recommend my daughter be in a violent relationship like that? Of course not. <laughs> would I recommend my sister be in a, a violent relationship like that? Of course not. Would I recommend it to my mother, to my auntie, to my cousin, to my friend? Of course not. But if they are an adult and that's what they choose, who am I to tell them they cannot have it? See, that's where the arrogance comes in. If they are an adult and that's what they choose, who am I to tell them they cannot have it? Now, if they live with me, sure, I can say they can't have it. You are not allowed to be with a man who's going to be violent towards you while you live in the bundle my roof. You can see you can pull that card and you're absolutely fine. Why? Because they live with you. Or she lives with you. So you can tell her what she can deal with and what she can't deal with as long as you're taking care of her. But if she ain't living with you, who are you to tell her what she can and can't have? Just because you don't like somebody's lifestyle does not mean you get to dictate what their lifestyle should be. Would you want somebody else trying to dictate your lifestyle even though they want you to do stuff that you don't agree with? 
Would you want somebody else coming into your life telling you what movies you can watch? What TV shows you can watch? What social media you can use? What cars you can drive? And of course, it's natural for people to say, well, that's not the same thing. No, it actually is the same thing. It's called a person having a choice. 